Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, now uh, we want to look at how we can uh, navigate through the Excel user interface. We have looked at what is Excel. We, we have looked at uh, how to open Excel. Now we have it open. How do we navigate through this user interface of Microsoft Excel? Um, if you look at the top, which I referred to as the ribbon, you find that it's almost similar to Microsoft Word if you used Microsoft Word. But don't worry if you're not used Microsoft Word. I'm going to have a whole video where I'm going to look at how we customize this ribbon and talking about all the things that are in the ribbon. You might find that at the top of Excel, there is the title bar which says book one here and it says Excel. Notice that it says book one, it doesn't say sheet one because in Excel, all we have are workbooks and even if the workbook has got one sheet it's still called a workbook and you can put as many worksheets as you want in the excel workbook so before you save it before you put in, you give it an, any uh, name that uh, talks about what is inside it before you save your excel workbook it will be workbook one or workbook two so one other thing that i can uh, tell you here is it says book one excel because I'm using the latest version of Excel. If I was using the other uh, lower versions of Excel, it would say here compatibility mode. So when you see you're saying compatibility mode, don't be worried about that. Just telling you that you're using a, a, an old version of Excel, not the, uh, the, the, the file is in the old version of Excel, not the new version of Excel. Now, I'm going to look at the way Excel is presented, but not specifically look at the things that are on the ribbon. If you look at the top, we say this is the title bar, and after the title bar, we have these um, the commands that are the same as the previous version of Excel, like file, home, insert. All these will give us items underneath them which are going to show in the uh, ribbon. If I click on insert, I'm going to see those that are related to inserting. If I click a page layout, I'm going to give get those that are related to page out, layout. If I click on formulas, I'm going to get everything to do with formulas. It's a, it's, it's a forest of all these things. However, you don't necessarily have to memorize where you find what. You just have to have a general idea of if you are dealing with data, you go to data. If you're dealing with formulas, you go to formulas. But don't have to memorize any of these. There is, however, another way of taking those that you use most of the time and putting them where you can always see them. This is what we are going to look at uh, now called the quick access toolbar. With the quick access toolbar, we are putting all the, 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 the things that we, are, we, we need to use on a daily basis. Let's say, for example, you insert charts uh, most of the times or you insert pictures. You just go to insert and go to pictures and right click it and click on add to quick access toolbar. Now, next time you want to insert a picture, you don't have to go to insert from wherever you are. You just have to click at the top here and you are already inserting uh, a picture onto uh, your Excel uh, spreadsheet. And to remove it, just right click it again and you can remove from quick access to bar and that's how you take it off. Any of these things that you find on the ribbon can be added to the quick access toolbar that way. Now, there are other methods of adding, like if you go to this arrow at the end of the quick access toolbar, if you click it, you can choose to put new, which will help you to open a new workbook. You can choose to put open, which will open the files that you worked on, on Excel. You can choose to put save is already there. This is save. And if you want to email, you can put email. Quick print, which is what most of us use. And probably you can look at print view, uh, print preview. Uh, read, you do and undo are always uh, are also there. If you want to put sorting, you can put there. As you go down here, you see here it says more commands. It means if you want any other commands that are not on this list, which is a very short list, for example, uh, you click on more commands and you see a ton of commands that you can put on the quick access toolbar. You just need to click like borders and edit here 
and if you do that you say okay you find that our borders are now added to the quick access toolbar so you can pretty much add anything that you want to use quickly and you don't have to be looking for it every time here and while i'm also on the quick access toolbar i want to show you other ways of of, of presenting this quick access toolbar you can just click here and put show it below the ribbon uh, if you are wondering where it is going to it's now here it has now been taken to below the ribbon let me take it back to where we are used to having it so you click again and then it goes up here now talking about the ribbon you can collapse the ribbon uh, if you think that you need more space to work on your computer by clicking on this arrow here on the right which says collapse ribbon or by pressing ctrl f1 and your ribbon collapses and they are now having um, this tab as, as in uh, the old version of excel and if you even if you come here and put this here now you look like you're in excel 2013 now when you do this you can always show the things that are under the ribbon by one by clicking once let's say i want to insert something i'll just click once when insert the ribbon comes i insert and after that if i click away the ribbon is hidden again if i want the ribbon to come back and sh be shown as it was without having to hide it again i just double click on any of these and the ribbon is pinned that's number one way of doing it there is another way of uh, uh, ensuring that uh, the ribbon is pinned if i click once on any of these and it comes down here there will be a pin here which i can just click here to pin uh, the ribbon and the ribbon will be pinned uh, back here i will do it once more so that you see click here and come here on the pin or control f1 again and the ribbon is pinned back and now uh, we see the ribbon uh, showing here i'm gonna move here and show you uh, below the ribbon there is of course the formula bar this one we're going to talk about it uh, later when you're using formulas and then at the top right hand corner here if you are registered on this microsoft uh, excel your name will be appearing here uh, because it's a registered uh, application if you're not you won't see your name here don't worry about that and then if you come here you see these window uh, manipulation tools like the one for minimizing this one is min minimize if you want to minimize your window you click this one and the window is minimized to the taskbar this one is the restore button if you click and you want you, 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 you to see something behind this you can click like this and you can see that and um this one of course is the close button which you use uh to close uh your excel okay so basically this is how excel presents itself and uh, remember if you want to remove any one of these you just right click and click on remove right click on click on remove and all of them will be removed if you don't want to have them here see you in the next video